welcome to Metal Lights with the Metal Coach. We're talking about all things rock, hard rock, and heavy metal. It is reaction time, and I have the sweetest hard rock and metal band Eclipse with their new single called Apocalypse Blues. But before we get into the new single from Eclipse, please like, subscribe, and leave some comments in the comments section so we can continue to build the channel. All that and more when the Metal Coach returns. Coming up next. Welcome back to the show, my fellow metalheads. I'm your host, Stephen, the Metal Coach Holly. Tonight, I have Swedish hard rock and metal band Eclipse with their new single they just released called Apocalypse Blues. The lineup for Eclipse is Eric Martinson on lead vocals and lead guitar, Magnus Henriksen on lead guitar, Philip Krushner on drums, and Victor Krushner on bass. So let's get this rolling and get to the rock. Let's check out the new single from Eclipse called Apocalypse Blues. And let's go right now. love this song. Um, these guys have been one of my favorite bands over the last uh, 10, 12 years after I discovered them. They are, they rock in my opinion. I've loved their music. Of course, their music over the last couple years has changed a little bit. Um, and on this song, they've kind of gone back to that, the older, heavier days, which I really liked. 
Uh, this song is just a hard rock, mid-up-tempo, anthemic gem. Songs characterized by heavy guitar riffs, energetic drumming, powerful vocals. Eclipse's style combines elements of classic rock with modern hard rock that creates a dynamic and intense sound. Like I said, I love the way they've kind of gone back to their, their roots, to their heavier days, but at the same time, it's still melodic, it's still energetic, and it's still anthem. Just freaking brilliant. Song follows that traditional rock structure with verses, chorus, bridges, and cool instrumental breakdowns. The structure of the song is designed to build the tension and drama, capturing the intensity of the song, the theme of the world ending on the day of the eclipse coming up in April. <laughs> I mean, of course, the video said to be continued, so I can't wait to see what's coming up next. Uh, but man, brilliant song, brilliant video. Man, they're great. I love the vocals from Eric Martinson. Uh, they are intense. They're emotionative. The way he delivers that the lyrics at, that explore the themes of survival, resilience, and defiance. His vocal range and delivery convey a sense of urgency and determination, which brings the listener into the song. He is one of the best in the business, in my opinion, and I think he just rocks. He's great with the clips, and of course, he's also... Um, co-lead singer in the band Wet, which he's brilliant with them as well. The instrumentation in this song is aggressive and energetic, featuring really cool elements and, and moments. I absolutely love the distorted guitar riffs when it kicks into the song. You have those cool little licks thrown in during the pre-chorus. And then the guitar solo from Magnus Henriksen is great. His melodic hooks he plays also add depth and variation to the music enhancing the intensity of the overall feel of the song. The solo is nothing crazy, but it's cool. It's melodic and has cool phrasing that makes you want to sing along to it, which you all know I love and I think is a qualifier for a great solo. The solo fits the intensity of the song, but it's not drawn out and it's not repetitive and, it will, and it's not boring. Really great job on the guitar solo. I like it. I think it's brilliant. The rhythm section to me is tight and dynamic. I really like the intense and driving drum beats from Philip Krushner. He does not go crazy, just keeps the time and helps give the song a heavy edge to it. The bass playing from Victor Krusher um, is thick and beefy and it rumbles in the speakers when you crank it up. You can hear it through the mix and I love it. Together, I think they're brilliant. I really think they are... Um, a, a, a brilliant part of the band, and I really think they really helped the band fill in the gaps, and I think they're brilliant. The lyrics for the song, of course, depict a post-apocalyptic scenario where humanity is faced with chaos and destruction due to the total eclipse that's coming on April 8th. The song explores themes of struggle, perseverance, and the will to survive against all odds. I love the pre-chorus that rocks and just sets the stage for the upcoming anthemic chorus. The breakdown before is the chorus is cool with the count up to four in several different languages. I really thought that was a really cool, fun element to it. I absolutely love the hooky anthemic chorus that will get you up and moving around and having fun and forgetting about the apocalypse. So, man, great job on this song. Love, love, love it. The production of Apocalypse Blues is polished and powerful, showcasing Eclipse musical prowess and their song's message. The mix balances the instruments effectively, creating a hard, hitting, and impactful song. It is clear, you can hear all the instrumentation, you can hear all the vocals, all the notes, and it is freaking brilliantly done. Overall, this song is a hard hitting, hard rock, and AOR anthem that explores the themes of survival and resilience in the face of adversity. The song intends vocals, aggressive instrumentation, and empowering lyrics create a memorable and impactful experience for fans of the band and for hard rock and the AOR genre as a whole. Just freaking wonderful. There you go, guys. The band Eclipse with their new single called Apocalypse Blues. So what do you think of the band Eclipse? And what do you think of the song Apocalypse Blues? Leave some comments in the comment section and let's talk about one of the best bands that are out on the planet today. Just a reminder before you leave, like, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when new shows are released, and leave some comments when we continue to build the channel together. I want to thank you for joining me tonight, and remember, as always, keep it fun, keep it metal, crank up something loud today, and keep that metal flame burning, and I'll see you guys really soon. Take care, guys.